Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In this video that I made for Al Indonesia, I want to talk about five plants with spectacular leaves. And five is actually a very small number, so I have to be very, very selective. But keep in mind that there are lots of really fascinating plants out there for you to discover. Uh, in my hands here is the Peperomia incana. And it's actually in the Peperomia family. And it's so beautiful. It's got these succulent-like leaves. It's got really beautiful growth pattern. And it's very suitable for small spaces. And what's, what I really particularly find fascinating about these is the leaves. Um, when you pet them, they're super soft and super fuzzy. Uh, it's got this um, hair actually on the leaves, like super fine white hair, and just so beautiful. And the way that you would care for it is just to water it only when the leaves feel soft and limp. Like right now, it's actually firm. I can't really fold it. That means that it's still full. Do not water it when it's uh, full because it's gonna uh, rot and die off. Um, and give it bright uh, to medium indirect light because it cannot take any direct sunlight at all. In fact, I've burned some of the leaves because of that. Yeah, and I can't stop staring at it and I can't stop petting it because it's just so, so unique. It feels so good to have them around. And here we have an Aglonema Lotus Delight. This is a hybrid made by uh, Sir Greg Hambali. So he's made some really interesting and beautiful Aglonema uh, species. And uh, this one is particularly beautiful because of the pink rims, the, the beautiful shades of green. The veining is just perfect. Um, and then they come up with a new leaf where it un uh, unfurls in the middle. It's just so stunning. Um, with all aglonemas, you do want to give them bright indirect light to give them that coloration, to encourage them to, to push out more color. And also, they do want to dry out between watering, so make sure that you're not uh, having them sit in soggy wet soil for too long. They can't stand it. So I give mine a very airy soil mix and I water it very frequently. So it, it actually dries out super fast. Next, we have the Hoya Macrophylla variegata. This is so beautiful. It's it's got like this reptile like uh, leathery thick leaves. I almost want to turn it into a wallet. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, it's got beautiful uh, yellow variegation along the edges and when you give it bright uh, bright light even I would go as far as say give it some direct sunlight in the morning or if it's dappled because they will give you these um, really beautiful uh, pink baby leaves with a pink rim outside so it's gonna be green with a, with a yellow variegation with a pink uh, rim around it it's just so beautiful and this is a very very fast grower here in our climate in Indonesia and also you I give it a very very chunky uh, mix as I do with all my Hoyas because they don't want to be wet. Um, so one way that you can also test for the moisture as with most plants is also to just squeeze the leaves. If you, it feels limp and soft, it means that it's actually quite thirsty. So go ahead and give it a drink. And Hoyas are actually very easy to propagate. You can cut anywhere on the stem and just either stick it back into the soil or uh, propagate it in water first. Yeah. So this one was actually grown from two tiny cuttings, I would say about five months ago, and now it's given me this. It's continuously uh, growing. And Hoyas, by the way, they do flower. They have the most spectacular blooms out of all the plant species. And next we have this Syngonium podophyllum variegata. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Um, of course, there's a craze for variegated plants these days. Um, so there's your uh, mon uh, monsteras, there's your alocasias, uh, a lot of your pothos also have variegations, but I find that this is beautiful because of its triangular shape and the variegations are so splashy, it's just so stunning. You have, you know, chunks of white and you have splashes of white and this light green. It just merges together really beautifully and each leaf is very, very different from another. So you're always surprised when a new leaf unfurls. And this is very, very easy to care for, uh, very, very forgiving. Uh, you don't want to keep it on the dry side, don't keep watering it, um, otherwise it will turn yellow and fall off and um, you want to give it bright indirect light to, uh, to get the variegation to be more pronounced. Um, in terms of the care, you do want to let this dry out between waterings. Uh, do not overwater your plants or she will give you uh, yellowing leaves that fall off. Uh, but if you let it dry out for too long, uh, some of the uh, variegated parts like this here, it will uh, give you a crispy edges. So just be mindful of that. But other than that, they grow like weed. They grow so fast that you can't really control it anymore. And they're readily propagated uh, right here because they, they actually already put out aerial roots 
uh, readily. And the last plant is actually the Philodendron brantianum. It is so stunning. Uh, <laughs> there are these silver specks on the leaf. It's actually very similar to Skindapsis, so if you can't get your hands on one of these, uh, a Skindapsis will not go far from this because it, the, the leaves are just so spectacular. Uh, with the Brantianum, they do want to climb up, so give them a pole uh, to climb up on. And they can get bigger leaves if you let it uh, climb up. So this one's actually still a baby. Um, the way that you would care for it is the same with other philodendrons. You want to give them a very, very airy soil mix. You want them to dry out between waterings and you want to give them bright, indirect light. Alright, I guess so that's five plants with the most spectacular leaves. I've got so many more to show you, but, uh, but I'm out of time. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. Bye!